During an era where there was so much emphasis on increasing efficiency in wide-body aircraft, there has often been a lot of dialogue surrounding new 747 variants, but a lot of the talk from enthusiasts and onlookers has been over a potential twin-engine version in what is championed as the Queen of the Skies, remember, but more fundamentally, it is a quad-engine jet at heart. Does a twin-engine 747 have any legs behind it? What are really the complications, and, and why hasn't it launched? Has it ended up being the right decision. Well, firstly, most commercial aircraft programs will always have several variants studied on top of the ones that are released, and they will not get that firm go-ahead approval to see a formal launch. This is pretty common. Manufacturers are just doing their due diligence to find something that works. And in times where they research, not all is going to hit the same way as other types. The 747, which had a production stint lasting over half a century, was a prime example of a program that experienced many variants that never made it past the drawing board. Board. Each potential variant was seemingly more outlandish than the other. Remember from the study of a Trijet 747 to a full double-decker version to combat emerging threats from Airbus. Each plane had its uniqueness, and each plane had a definitive model around it, which was attempted to really bring to market, but ultimately would fail. However, it would also be discussed internally across the industry about what a possible twin-engine variant for the 747 would have been able to accomplish had it been a launch. Launched. So what was this very concept? Well, unlike the 747 Trijet and even its full double-decker model, Boeing never confirmed a twin-engine 747 as a study. Rather, this could really be your proposed plane, with the industry more looking towards it as a potential option. In essence, the prospective plane would have looked to continue with the 747's first iterations, which they were known and loved for, but adopt a more efficient power source and engines, and reduce them by half. If released, the jet would have sought to bring greater efficiency to the wide-body platform. However, this never made much sense when further analysis was made on the possible launch of the jet. For some, the twin-engine concept on the 747 was never released for good reason. That good reason is that it exists now actually in the 777, a high-capacity jet not intended as a like-for-like -like replacement for the Queen of the Skies, but very much a new-generation twin-engine plane named for long-haul flying with larger capacity. And that's very much much being seen now with the upcoming 777X. Despite not being studied with Boeing, a twin-engine 747 still attracted a fair share of interest from enthusiasts and others who analysed how Boeing could try and reclaim a market share in the wide-body space and bring a new lease of life on the 747 program. However, we know a twin-engine 747 would have required a colossal amount of investment and radical design changes by the plane maker to make this work, thanks to the significant leaps achieved in engine thrusts and power, slotting two engines onto the 747 body would of course theoretically work. However, it just about ends there, with many other requirements needing to be met. Adding the two engines and dealing with varied power changes structurally would require adjustments, especially with likely a whole new wing design, which would cost a significant amount of funds, alongside many other investments that would have been required internally to make all of this possible, let alone on the exterior. Exterior. The wing, part of the broader airframe, is not made to have the twin-engine nature applied to this aircraft. The 747 was built for four engines. While at times a trijet option was studied, this would follow the theme with the MD-11 and DC-10, and at that point was attempting to combat the sales of those planes. Other aspects to be considered, such as weight, were also studied, and this would also ignore factors such as safety during the unlikely event of a full-scale engine failure. While the same could be said for twin-engine planes, there'd be a lot more needed to go in to turn the 747 into a twin-engine plane. If Boeing so desperately believed customers needed a more efficient high-capacity model, especially in the 21st century, it could have always moved ahead with its 777. This is a prospective variant in the 777X program, which has achieved technical feasibility, but hasn't been launched or talked about for about a decade, and is a far more modern and suitable decision. Other complex challenges existed, such as finding a market for twin-engined aircraft, such as the 747 in an age where airlines were moving away from these planes. Counting for the investment to make all of this possible, and even the tough process of learning with engine manufacturers, there would be little to no market visible for this jet. The uncertified but remember, launched 777X will help replace 747s for some customers and is seen as the future. Arguably, many decades ago, even the first iteration.
generation of the 777 series was seen by some companies as a more efficient answer to the 747. The 747 doesn't have a radically different capacity from the 777 by analysing these metrics alone in other key areas. Moving ahead with a re-engine of the 747 excluding all other complexities would not be a worthwhile investment for the lack of a customer base. In the mid-2020s, a new era arose for the American plane maker, which has now seen it move away from traditional quad-engine jets, which have dominated the industry for so long. Now, flexibility and efficiency are paramount, and even if this causes a loss in capacity on some of your largest wide bodies, airlines are willing to make the decision. The development of the 787 acting as a new clean sheet was certainly the plane maker's first genuine endeavour into the next generation of commercial wide bodies. And certainly from a performance metric, well, it has been game-changing, and has ticked all the boxes for airlines that have been looking for a modern alternative. The launch of the 777X is now the next endeavour unfolding at the American manufacturer. While there have been challenges in getting this plane to market, it presents fresh opportunities for airline customers seeking to renew their network. Sometimes the 777X has been selected as the 747 replacement, such as at British Airways. While it may not be the most adequate like-for-like replacement, its performance metrics naturally crush the 747 through continued advancements. And that's really the key thing here. The 747 twin jet was never really considered at the American plane maker. As close as we ever got to a non-four engine version was the Trijet, and that was many, many decades ago. So while we continue to see AI channels running with the theme of a 747 twin jet coming, that is not the case. And to really stand firm, it was never a plane all that much considered. There were other options for sure, like a full double deck, a Trijet, and many other variants such as the 747X and beyond, trying to find ways to leverage the existing platform and bring truckloads of efficiency once more to the program. But a twin-engine plane just would have had way too many complexities to try and make this possible. It would have been fascinating though, that's for sure, but never something all that likely. And now, frankly, well, the 747 stories as far as a airline standpoint is almost over, but not quite there yet. From a Boeing standpoint, it's very much over. Production has wrapped up. There is no necessary successor in the pipeline anytime soon, and we're moving on to greater things. While it is certainly sad to be saying goodbye to the 747, like I keep saying, its legacy will be here to last a lifetime and beyond, and let's enjoy it while it's still around. But as for a two-engine 747, firmly unreleased, and firmly something that was maybe more a dream rather than a reality at any point. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Is this something you would have liked to have seen taken place as an investment or are you just in that camp as well that it simply made no sense from the beginning and was rather a hope rather than a reality? Take care, be safe, and I'll see you in a couple of days. And we'll fly.